Good afternoon, people of the internet. Uh, today's uh, a video aimed for the book lovers of the internet, and I just have a couple of items that uh, I am rather fond of in my small collection of uh, old books. Now, uh, first of all, uh, I have a book from 1899 that I will show you last, but before we get into that I want to show you a couple of books that I picked up first, going in order from when they were published most recently to uh, earliest. Now the first book we have here is the first volume. I have all the, all, one, two, three, four, five, six volumes of Home Doctor, and this is dated to be somewhere around the 1950s. And the Home Doctor is just a huge, huge catalogue spanning over 4,700 pages altogether without volumes. If it was one giant book, um, it's just a giant catalogue of, of illnesses and, and different things that affect the human health, such as specific plants, which I think is cool. That's from the 1950s. Now over here we've got a second impression of Nora Loft's Silver Nutmeg and if we open this beautiful delicate book up with such a beautiful cover by the way such an amazing fascinating piece of history as you can see right there this is dated 26th of December 1947 Incredible. Let me just, uh, there we go, 1947. <clears throat> There's a bit about Nora Loft, I don't know if you can see that, and the book itself, Silver Nutmeg. The pages are just absolutely beautiful. Um, they're astonishing, and it's such a treasure to behold. Now we go to my second. Mm -hmm oldest item we have a boys brigade ambulance handbook from the year 1939 and you can see it's dated and signed mm -hmm. by uh, one of its first owners s weaver over there <sighs> written at the request of the boys brigade executive um, the author acknowledges with gratitude the valuable help in the revision of the text rendered by Mr. McNeil. Something, I can't read that. But um, here you can see it's dated 1939. Uh, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. 1939. This is such a cool book. Um, I picked these books up. Altogether, this lot cost me three pound everything you see in the video not each but all together uh, and that includes the other five home doctor volumes uh, but the paper on this is truly magnificent and the way it feels and, and smells you can really tell that uh, they were taken care of and this book is just about first aid if you were injured um, such as foot dressings um, here we got a, uh, a diagram on the spine and uh, the skeleton, or the main part of the skeleton. Uh, you have fractures of the hands and arms. That's how to deal with them. And that's that's really cool. That was 1939. And my oldest one <clears throat> is this, and I have to keep it wrapped so it doesn't get damaged by the because I don't have a safe or anything so I have to keep it wrapped so it doesn't get damaged by the moist air <clears throat> so if we just open this up it'll be very delicate because this is dated 1899 um, and the events that happen in this book date back to 1812 and 1813 and it's truly beautiful. If you look over here, it's the memoirs of Sergeant Borgen, 1812 to 1813. 
and let's just get a look on the outside first i mean for starters this is such a beautiful binding i mean even in its old decrepit state the pages look and feel amazing the book the feeling the the hardback to it is just incredible even the faint red ink they used for the cover and the eagle now unfortunately i think this is speculation it was part of a library, a posh library. If uh, any of you what know what Ex Librius Eliza means, I think it's Latin for something. But if any of you know what that means, please leave it in the uh, comment section down below. Um, some of the pages have already fallen out, but they've just been kept in the book. And here it says, uh, it says Memoirs of Sergeant Borgen. I think it's Borgen. I'm dyslexic. I can't... Uh, Read that picture. Give me a moment, I've just dropped a page. Oh my god. So delicate with it. You have to be so delicate. It truly is incredible. But here we go. Oh boy, you know what, we could just leave it to the side. But here it is, and I think they leave a picture of him under this tracing page. Mm -hmm. And that's Sergeant Borgen there. I think it's Borgen. That's him there. Under this tracing paper. And this paper is rather thick as well. As you can tell how greatly that this was assembled. I mean, even for 1899, this is truly magnificent. And uh, I picked this up in a bookshop um, near where I live for uh, a pound. And uh, I was in the bookshop just looking at old books because uh, they fascinate me. And so I was looking and I found this dishevelled looking book. And I thought, well, that has to be the oldest. So I was looking inside and I couldn't find a date. I only found the date up here. And obviously that's when it takes place. But um, so I asked a guy and he said that this book was published in 1899. Now, I don't know if it's a first edition um, because the, uh, the events are set... Uh, about 70 odd years, nearly 80 odd years um, before this book was published, so I don't know if this is a first edition, maybe second, it was 1899, so you never know. But to have something from the Victorian era in my small collection of books is truly outstanding. It's, it's amazing. I mean, uh, this book itself alone is 124 years old, and... Um, I absolutely love it to bits. In fact, my favourite part about this is the red inked eagle with what looks to be the sail barge, or the sail thing of a boat, the cloth and the rag. I, I don't know what that is, mm -hmm. but um, I like it so much. Um, and it's my favourite part of my small collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll update you if I find any other books in the future. And if anyone could tell me what that Latin means or that foreign means in the uh, comment section down below, I would be most grateful. Uh, oh boy, I've wrapped this the wrong way. Hold on. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.